Hello, amazing, amazing poet friends. Thank you so much for being here, either now with me live or later when this is a replay on uh, YouTube. Not Facebook, maybe Facebook, but YouTube. And today is National Epitaph Day, and this is the sixth day in the Poetry Challenge. And oh my God, April seems so long at this moment. But I said I was going to do this, and I'm going to do it. And I do love poetry. Um, and it's probably really good for me to have this thing that I do every morning because, you know, noon is morning for me. But let's get into it. The thing that I want to talk about today for Epitaph Day is I'm going to bring up a very special essay book by Lauren Rhodes. I'm going to find the clip so I can put it up. Well, it's in the it's in the background. You can see that, but it is Death's Garden Revisited by edited by Lauren Rhodes, and I had the pleasure of being one of the essayists for this book. And what I wrote about was uh, the time that I got to marry a friend of mine, um, Chelsea. Well, I probably shouldn't give names, but yes, my good friend Chelsea and Kendra, her wife, and I got to marry them at a graveyard. And I actually became a licensed minister for this event. Um, so yeah. Surprise, I am actually a licensed minister and licensed to perform exorcisms. So give me a call if you should ever have that need. I would love to do that. Um, I can also bless holy water, but I kind of feel like I could do that anyways. And uh, and perform marriages legally for whoever, the state's legal jargon here. Um, so anyways, yeah, call me for that exorcism, though. I definitely want to do that. And... On National Epitaph Day. So so anyways, going back to Death's Garden Revisited, um, that's the essay that I wrote was uh, Wedding Veils, which is V-A-I-L-E-S for Mrs. Vale, who I believe is the gray lady ghost that haunts the Woodlawn Cemetery here, which is one of my currently favorite cemeteries. Um, and that whole story is there, why she would, be, why she would become a ghost, and her beautiful and tragic story, which is one of otherness. Um, and social society kind of putting that stamp of death on people, that it does. Which is why I always say be authentic to yourself, because that is the only way we can be happy. And the media is exists to tell us why we shouldn't be who we actually are, because then they make money selling us the products to make us who they think that we should be. And we need to remodel ourselves in our own image rather than remodeling ourselves in some false airbrushed and miserable images, honestly, miserable. Because, yeah, anyways, I will not rant because if you know me in person, I have ranted this rant before. And today is National Epitaph Day. So if you want to support Death's Garden Revisited, it's a wonderful book of essays. So many really amazing essayists in this. Um, they are still doing the Kickstarter. And I know it's like way funded. Um, and now they're into the stretch goals. And so you can get like a hardback copy of Death's Revisited. You can, there's, there's a ton of goals. That link is in the description below. Um, and then also that's where you can find out uh, about the book. But epitaph day you know as a poet and as a morbid happily morbid person i love epitaphs and so i do have my favorite epitaphs um, i've written my own epitaph many times and i won't share that here because it's a work in progress um, i like to keep it short and simple but also a lot of meaning in there so right now my epitaph would probably be just i'll be back because i have every intention of being back um, but you know, it just doesn't have a lot of ring to it. It misses the poetry. So I'm going to share other people's epitaphs today. And I have some really good ones that I will share. One of them is Benjamin Franklin, who is one of my favorite guys. I love Benjamin. If you've ever read his biography or anything, that guy was an authentic free thinker. So which is why he was so successful. But I will read Benjamin Franklin's and then I have I have this beautiful list that I will share in the comments of epitaphs. So you can also find these and enjoy these wonderful epitaphs on Epitaph Day. Um, November 2nd is also Epitaph Day and it's a day that is set aside 
for us to think about the things that we don't like to think about necessarily and put our affairs in order for the probably inevitable, unless you find a vampire to be your friend. Epitaph in Bookish Style by Ben Franklin. And you can read along with me. The body of Benjamin Franklin, printer, like the cover of an old book, its contents torn out and stripped of its lettering and gilding, lies here food for worms. But the work shall not be lost, for it will, as he believed, appear once more in a new and more elegant edition, revised and corrected by the author. And I thought that was very beautiful. I absolutely love that. Um, we have Robert Louis Stevenson, under the wide and starry sky, dig the grave and let me lie. Glad did I live and gladly die, and I laid me down with a will. So, and who knows, does he mean will, like, you know, will, as in, you know, the will of a person, or did he mean will, like a written will? So maybe that's a clue to some secret fortune hidden by Robert Louis Stevenson. And then I will read Emily Dickinson up here because, of course, Emily Dickinson, we all love her. Step lightly on this narrow spot. The broadest land that grows is not so ample as the breast. These emerald seams enclose. So beautiful, beautiful epitaphs this morning to give you some gravity, some momento mori on life. Um, while we're here, let's enjoy every every sliver of it. And when we're gone, who knows where we're going to go? And does it matter? What matters is that we lived well here. And then there will be a take two. And that is my epitaph poetry challenge moment of the day. Um, I also noticed I bob my head around a lot when I'm on this camera, like a waltzing mouse. So I apologize. I am trying to hold much more still as I do this. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you tomorrow, uh, day seven. So we are making some progress and we're still here. Bye-bye. Happy Epitaph Day.